Huh. Well, wait in line for casual legs an hour. What else could I play? Hmm. Guardians aren't supposed to investigate their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse, along with something far more terrifying. is reserved for official Vanguard business. So look, whoever this is... Let's keep it. You've got one of the uptight goes. Uptight? I'm uploading coordinates to a safe landing zone. Please hurry. All right. But you're going to owe us for this one. I wouldn't have called you down here unless it was absolutely critical. The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet, and an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. I need right. your help. down on the surface of Mars, Guardian. What's your status? Are you safe? For now. But there's a whole lot of not safe between us and the Clovis Bray facility, which is where we need to be. What's so important there? Warsats, like the one that almost hit you on approach, have been dropping out of the sky since I got here. Which usually means only one thing. Rasputin? The greatest weapon of the Golden Age you were talking about. But that's impossible. Nothing oh, is impossible oh. where Rasputin is concerned. Meet me at the facility. Hey. I know they don't exist anywhere but here. Never mind. 
Time to call in help from the Vanguard. Not a great idea. Zavala won't be happy about us digging around Bray. He wants the past to stay buried. But we need to get in there to find out what's going on with Rasputin. Oh, that's where I leave. A bit still leaves, though. What was that? Really? Wow. You would venture availability too. next we've found a golden age research facility buried inside a glacier where do you think meet me at the entrance to clovis bray which i'm here come on we're quiet for this hey you made it actually yes we did. Well, there were a lot of them. But you did great. Come on, let's see what's hiding in here. I have to screenshot Besides that, Hordes I'm sorry. Besides Frozen Hive, I mean. I think that's the end of the first part. Which means we're probably gonna have to go back on a Mars. Whoops. Put in a Mars. Or Mercury. That's Mars. We get it wrong. And we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue this to the battle. I'm using my ever account because the last time I recorded it, it was all static. But I need to check that clip because if it ain't. I'll put it on. I'll apologize for the static, but 
It was very stressful killing the big guy. So turn into Mercury. You two clear a path while I try to find a way into Clovis Bray. We've encountered war mines before, but Ikora said Rasputin was trapped on Earth. Rasputin is capable of operating across oh, multiple systems vehicle. simultaneously. So all those times the Vanguard was trying to talk to him in the Cosmodrome. They were engaging fragments of Rasputin left behind after the collapse, but his core mind was always here. Red Legion! Oh, this is gonna be easy. Well, I hope it does. Two, and three. There you go. I'm here. I'm really here. I can't believe it. Clovis Bray. I'm home. Better get to that door. The main access is encrypted. Good thing I know a few tricks. At least that Wait. seems to run in the family. Wait. Personnel identified Dr. Anastasia Bray. Welcome to the Clovis Bray Research Facility, the fabled cradle of invention on Mars. You are part of an important moment in history. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. And Name's Anna Bray. <laughs> Looks like Rasputin's core is housed in a separate structure. Hope you're up for a little exploring. Can I take this? Nope. I wish you could take that. Can I send the recipe from the original call? This facility is massive. The Braves dreamed big. I don't know much about my family. But I know that. I'm picking up a lot of hive activity. They're swarming the right. On it. Let me try to access the security systems. Up. Back. Yeah, huh? Go down. 
What's the status on the security systems? I'm working on it. Hang in there. Problem. Oh god. Come on, Rasputin. Give me something here. It's the Valkyrie. Rasputin's weapon. I think Come on. they heard us. I don't need me smoke restriction. Give me two of these and over foot. Fifteen. Seventeen. Come on. I'm probably going to need another one. inside. Maybe this is where questions finally turn into answers. Or it could be Vizella. <laughs> Behind the door. And the result of the mystery opponent is... I mean, the results are... And it is! Hello, Guardian. What's up, oh, Shanks. What do you think you're doing? Hey, don't be an angry do you spirit, have man. any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. Yeah, listen to the Smurf. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here, doing what you always do, what you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what guardians are supposed to do? Let go. This is a war of many fronts, and there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look. Why do I give her black? It's supposed to be purple. You shield the entire world, but you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe, just maybe, we never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Oh, no. Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. What was it, Smurf? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call him Smurf from now on. I'm sorry if those two, two Destiny's fans were gonna complain and go, it's uh, whatever. It's Savala, but I call him Smurf Man. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought that was the end of the second part, so. My guess is. I hope to God he doesn't want me back on that tower. We don't need a translation this time. The air feels different. Don't worry. You got this. 
I just talk to you now? You me of I talk to you? Let's work together. No, I don't. That's the wrong. There we go. What are we gonna do? So it appears that we have to go to. Oh, no, we're traveling. We need to draw out Zol, so I have to go to the EDZ that is on Earth. To be here. So we're in 12. That's taken. It's the taken. They're jamming me. The taken? Are they after the fragment? Oh, it doesn't matter. Clear them out. You got it. Huzzah! I 
Quick, got a lock. The fragment is nearby, but the readings are inconsistent with other pieces of the Traveler. What's like that? Zavala, assuming this fragment bait plan works, how do you expect to take down Zol without Rasputin? I won't have this discussion again. I can tell you, without a doubt, Rasputin is the only way to stop Zol. We need the Valkyrie. We won against impossible odds before, without Rasputin. projected some kind of shield around the fragment. Go. I don't think we can get through. There might still be a warsat left in Earth's orbit. Let me see if I can adjust its trajectory. No. We've got incoming. Stay where you are. I'm using your position to lock on with the warsat. Understood. Red. in my mind about this being a full video. Thank you. 
Anna, how did you get it to fire? I asked him. Rasputin was created to help humanity. He listens to me. Yeah, and he almost killed this me. Time, the war mind listened. But are you ready to shoulder the burden the day it doesn't? Got it. Secure the piece of the traveler and get back to Mars. It is time to go to war with a god. Yeah, that's gonna be another video. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, that's too much for one day, I believe. So anyways, uh in the next video we're gonna go to which I think will be out in the weekend. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to Mars and we are going to go and finish this by going into hi the hive feeding ground and beating Zol. If I haven't already done that at this point in time. So um where can we go? So anyway. Thank you for watching this new edition of Destiny. We'll be doing all three campaigns. We'll do the expansion one with Osiris after this one. And then we're going to go to the moon. In which I will move over to my other account and we'll use we'll do it on the moon. Because I did mess up on the Osiris one and this one. So anyway, besides that, I hope you all have a good day and you enjoyed. If you did like like the video and subscribe for more Destiny content. I'll probably be doing more on the road to real light. And not to mention that I have some Team Fortress 2 videos which will be in the random section of the video or at the end, who knows. But anyways, besides that, thank you and have a nice day.